and welcome back to another calming little vlog. To be perfectly honest with you all, I have been a little overwhelmed lately. Constantly working and not allowing myself time off to myself. Not that this is particularly new for me, but what is usually enjoyable has felt draining as of late. So today, for at least a few hours, I'm letting myself recharge a bit. And I'm taking part in some of the more introverted activities that I love so much. Most of my time off recently has been spent at social events or working out. And while I love both of those things, those are also activities that drain my energy. So I'm hoping to replenish and feel a lot more refreshed after today. To start, I got myself a little ready, which always helps boost my mood. And I set aside a few hours to do nothing but enjoy life. To sketch, to read, to drink a comforting cup of coffee and play with my cat. To take a nature walk and feel the breeze on my face. To enjoy the little things that make me happy. Romanticizing your life has taken the internet by storm. And I am such a believer in seeing the beauty in the small, mundane things. And that is what I will be doing today. But... I want to point out that not everything in my life is beautiful. I currently have a sink overflowing with dishes, a cluttered house desperately in need of dusting, and as I mentioned before, internally I've been feeling stressed and putting so much unnecessary pressure on myself. And I say all of this to make clear that your life doesn't have to be perfect to romanticize it, to see it as beautiful. I have found others often hold my own life or the lives of certain perfect appearing influencers up on this pedestal because of their perception of what they think my or their life is like. And this is totally fair given what they see. But that's really why I wanted to bring up this topic to remind you all that social media is just a highlight reel and a highly edited one at that. Yes, I love my life but you all see only a small fraction of it. There are some wonderful things that I keep to myself. My social life in general is a great example of this, but also there are lows and struggles and lots of self-doubt that I don't always show and talk about. So this is your reminder to not compare your lows to someone else's highs. Most people use their social media as a highlight reel of sorts, emphasizing the good things, their accomplishments, and so on, so don't take that information and compare it to your struggles that no one else sees. Everyone's life is filled with both highs and lows, and no one is perfect, but if you look for them, life is filled with these small perfect moments. Regardless of where you are in life, try taking a little time for something you love, even if all you have is a moment. Watch the sunset, call up a friend, indulge in your favorite sweet treat or comfort show, or go on a nature walk. Romanticize those small moments and don't feel silly for doing it. I love the romanticizing your life movement because it does serve as such a great reminder to enjoy life, even when it's not perfect, especially when it's not perfect. Because it's not about curating a perfect, aesthetically pleasing life but it's more about shifting your perspective, about remembering to love your life for what it is and to let go of that idea that every moment needs to be perfect or aesthetically pleasing to be good. It all starts with opening yourself to notice these moments. And of course, what is beautiful is subjective to each individual. <music> And window panes, sun is bright, it's a new 
everything new Like for the first time a perfect view You could feel like this too Some small things that I personally took joy in today were getting some movement in with a walk and seeing what is currently blooming on our property, feeling the cool breeze after such a hot month. We have a rainstorm coming in tomorrow that I'm so looking forward to. Starting a new Agatha Christie, whose work I've been really loving lately. Playing piano for the first time in too many weeks and trying to not be too judgmental on my progress or lack thereof. Seeing Boo, loving life, and of course kitty cuddles. And lastly, making this video and sharing my thoughts with all of you. This day worked wonders on replenishing my energy and overall creative spirit. And I woke up the next morning feeling so refreshed and ready to tackle that housework next. If you haven't gathered this from my videos yet, these topics are just as much for myself as anyone else who needs to hear it. Don't sit around and wait for life to feel perfect to enjoy it. Life is so complex and multidimensional and you have to find those good things within the bad. Enjoy it now, make time for the things you love and take some of that unnecessary pressure off your shoulders. You are doing great and you deserve to enjoy life too.